hello everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you two things these are questions that have been asked to me asked by and uh, asked by some of my subscribers one is how to get a very strong soup and the second one is how to make azuma blue soup to get a very strong bar of soap is simple you either make use of a lot of hard oils like cocoa, like palm, palm oil or you use calcium carbonate you will see this is a soda soap this is a soda soap that has been used for some time how you know it is a soda soap is from the texture the texture looks a little bit if you check it very well it has some little it looks it's smooth but it looks a little bit rough and cracked and that's how you know it's very dry see 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 i'm pressing with all my heart see this soap has been used for quite some time and it doesn't melt fast you can see this is pure soda soap that i made okay you can see how you know it is soda soap see it's a bit rough and cracked hmm? don't know that you're seeing this thing well okay this one here i think is a stain maybe they kept it somewhere this is the bottom of it. it is a stain from where they kept it but this is how it is very strong it's very very strong it doesn't melt fast then this is another soap that i made also with calcium this soap has about up to i think between 30 to 50 percent calcium in it it is very strong too you can see the way it is it is it is in a round form okay it is i made one i made some uh, uh, in the form of azuma blues and then some this is calcium from when i made my calcium soup i now molded some into a bowl you can see how hard it is very 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 hard too mm? but the problem with this calcium soup is that they don't harden on time it will take them a long time before they dry so that soap will dry in a week this uh, azuma soap will dry in a week this calcium soap might take you between three to four three weeks at least to dry to this strength but they are very very strong too and they are quite heavy okay so this is my own azuma blues soap that i made i made this long ago that time i made soda soap that was when i made it okay and i now molded it this way okay let me show you it's forming You can see it forms okay this is my own azuma blow soap that i need it's quite easy and simple to make azuma soap is named after a famous ghanian boxer mr nelson azuma okay how it's done is pretty simple it starts they start make you start making it by bleaching your palm oil i have up to two videos already on how to bleach palm oil okay so you can watch i'll also post the links this is done in a large quantity i also do bleach my palm oil large i usually bleach up to 24 liters at a time okay so that is good especially if you want to bleach your palm oil and keep it okay so as you can see here in the process of bleaching the palm oil it foamed and to bring down the foaming they now dropped in a stainless steel bowl inside of course the stainless steel um, bowl is cold so that would drastically reduce the temperature so now their palm oil has bleached and to test it they use a white piece of paper just the way i showed you people in my own videos on how to test your palm oil so now they are putting out the fire do now close the palm oil and allow it to cool this whole process is very very similar to our soda soap in nigeria what they call azuma blow soap is what we call soda soap okay the procedure is just the same so now you can see they are fetching water about three buckets to one bag of caustic soda they will ferment this overnight 
now here is the oil that has cooled down the bleached oil and this is the fermented caustic soda okay they will now mix these two the fermented caustic soda and the bleached palm oil that has already cooled down overnight do now mix it in the right proportion mix it up to make their azuma blues soup this is similar to what we do okay when making soda soup it's just the same thing so now you can see now she's pouring in her caustic soda measured caustic soda into the oils in her hand she put in a plastic she wrapped her hand with plastic and then put in put on a socks again on the hand this will give the hand a little bit of friction so that she'll be able to roll her balls her soap ball her soap into balls okay they usually put a rubber lint to hold the edge of the socks so that it won't come off during the process and that and because of the plastic wrap they put around their hand the lie doesn't get to hurt them or eat up their hand you can see the because of the socks is giving the hand a little bit of friction for them to be able to roll it into measured smooth balls of the right quantity for example this woman making this soap now she's not the one that is mixing or rolling the balls at times some of them do employ people that are highly skilled for this okay so you can see the balls now some people put color in theirs some leave it plain she's using water to make it more smoother okay so it is just the same thing with our soda soap the only difference is that they make it into balls okay while we pour our own into cans but it is still the same method you can use the hydrometer method to do it i have a video all on how to make these things so that's why i'm not repeating the video again okay so thanks for watching